Hey there, Louis Acapellas here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a word cloud poll in a Microsoft Teams meeting. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. Now, what exactly is a word cloud? Well, a word cloud is a visualization that displays a collection or cluster of words in different sizes. Now, word clouds are typically generated as the output of an open-ended survey question or an open-ended poll question, where the more often that a word was cited, the bigger it appears in the word cloud. Now, Microsoft recently implemented the ability to ask or administer open-ended polls in Teams meetings, and the results of those polls are depicted in the form of word clouds. Now, let's go ahead and let's check out how to create a word cloud poll in a Microsoft Teams meeting. All right, now there's a few different ways that you can create a word cloud poll in a Microsoft Teams meeting. Now, the first way that we're going to look at is creating the word cloud poll from directly within the Microsoft Teams meeting. So you can see here that I am in a meeting and in order to create a word cloud poll, the first thing that you want to do is you wanna go ahead and click on the more actions button. And next you wanna go ahead and click add an app. Here you want to search for or select Microsoft Forms. I'm going to go ahead and click on Forms. Next you wanna go ahead and click on add. Next, you want to click on save. And here in the polls pane, you want to go ahead and click on create new. Now in the create an interactive poll menu, you want to go ahead and click on word cloud poll. Next, you're going to be prompted to enter your question. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my question here, which is what is your favorite ice cream flavor? And you'll notice that you can't actually specify any choice type responses. And again, the reason being is a word cloud poll is an open-ended question where your meeting participants can actually enter any response that they want. Next, you wanna go ahead and configure your poll settings. And the first option is whether or not you want to share the word cloud with respondents. Checking this is actually going to display that word cloud directly in the meeting chat and in the meeting window so that participants can actually see the results in real time. And the next option here is to keep responses anonymous. So if you check this, it means you're not actually going to be able to see who responded with what option if you were to navigate out into the Microsoft Forms interface and view the results directly from Microsoft Forms. The last option here is allow others to co-author. And if you check this, what this is going to do is it's going to allow co-presenters to be able to edit the poll while it's still in draft before it's been launched. Now, if you don't check this, then it means only the creator or organizer of the meeting is going to be able to edit the poll while it's in draft. Now, I'm gonna leave these settings as they are here, and I'm gonna go ahead and click save as draft. And you can see here again in the polls pane that our word cloud poll appears. Now, whenever I'm ready to go ahead and launch this, I can simply click on this launch button. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this launch button here. And you can see here that in the polls pane, the poll itself has updated to live. And you can also see here that it has now popped up in the meeting window and I can actually go ahead and type in a response. So I'm just gonna go ahead and type in a bunch of responses here. And so you can see as I enter in these responses, the actual results are going to be displayed as a word cloud. And again, essentially what you would expect to see with a word cloud is the more often that a response is cited, the larger and bolder it's going to appear in the word cloud. So if I continue to enter vanilla as a response, we're going to see vanilla grow in terms of its display here in the word cloud poll. Now you'll also notice that participants can actually respond as many times as they want. So this is something 
that with a regular Microsoft Teams meeting poll, you can choose whether or not you want respondents to be able to respond once or multiple times. With a word cloud poll, participants can actually just enter as many responses as they want. Now, if I wanted to go ahead and end this poll, from the polls pane, which again, if I just close out of it, if I wanna bring it back up, I can just access it by clicking on the Microsoft Forms icon. And if I wanna close this poll, I can click in this view results dropdown and you can see here I have a few different options. I can close the poll, I can view response details or I can export the results. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and click on response details. And what this is going to bring up is it's going to bring up a list of the individual responses that were provided. And you can see here, I can see all of the different values that were entered. And if I wanna go ahead and export this, I can go ahead and click on the export button. And this is actually going to download a file to my computer, which I can then open. And again, I can do a bit of a deep dive on the responses that were provided as well. Now you can see here when the file is exported, it's going to show you all of the responses, the start time, the completion time. If we had chosen to make this poll not anonymous, then we would be able to associate a response with an individual's email and name. In this case, we made it anonymous. So you can see here that the information is redacted. And again, you can see the responses in the actual question column. So the next thing that I'll show you how to do is go ahead and close your poll. And again, you want to click into your polls pane. You wanna click on the view results dropdown and you wanna go ahead and click on close poll. Now you can see here that the status of this poll has updated to closed and that's how to close a poll. Next, what I'll show you how to do is how to create a word cloud poll before a Microsoft Teams meeting begins. All right, now to create a word cloud poll before a Microsoft Teams meeting begins, you wanna go ahead and schedule your meeting. And once the meeting has been scheduled and the invite has been sent out, you want to click into your calendar and you wanna click into that meeting invitation. Within the meeting invitation, you wanna go ahead and click on the add a tab button and you wanna search for and select Microsoft Forms. Next, you wanna click on add and next you wanna click on save. And that's going to add the polls tab to the top of your meeting invitation. Next, you wanna click on create new. And here you wanna go ahead and click on word cloud poll. And just like we saw within the meeting, you wanna go ahead and enter your question. You wanna configure your settings and then you wanna go ahead and click save as draft. Now within the meeting, when you're ready to launch this poll, you can either do so by navigating to your calendar in the Teams application interface, clicking on the polls tab and then clicking launch, or you can just launch it again from the Microsoft Forms app directly in the Microsoft Teams meeting. Now you can see here that I've gone ahead and I've joined the meeting. And if I wanna launch the poll. Again, I can do it from Microsoft Teams directly or I can do it from the meeting window by clicking on the polls icon. Now you can see here because we pre-created this word cloud poll, it already shows up in the polls pane in draft status and when I'm ready to go ahead and launch this, I can go ahead and click launch. Next, what I'm going to show you is how you can actually go back and look at the results of a word cloud poll from a meeting that took place in the past directly from the Microsoft Forms interface. All right, now if you ever want to go back and look at the results of a word cloud poll or a regular poll that took place in a Microsoft Teams meeting that occurred in the past, you can easily do that by navigating directly to the Microsoft Forms interface. Now, to get to the Microsoft Forms interface, you wanna to go to office.com and you want to log in with your Microsoft 365 account. And then you wanna go ahead and click on Microsoft Forms. Now, on this landing page, you wanna go ahead and click on All My Forms. And here's where you'll be able to access all of the different forms or polls that you've created. So you can see here the poll that we created, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? in the Microsoft Teams meeting earlier in the tutorial. And if I click on it, it'll actually bring me into the results for this particular form or this particular 
word cloud poll. So you can see the question was, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? And if I click on the responses, I can easily see all of the individual responses and I can go ahead and export these. Now you'll notice that this does not display in the form of a word cloud poll. And if we click on view results, again, this is not going to actually display in the form of a word cloud poll. The only way that that's going to happen is again in the context of the Microsoft Teams meeting. So that's it. This was just a quick tutorial showing you how to create a word cloud poll in a Microsoft Teams meeting. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Iacobelis. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.